Here's a precautionary tale about eating leftovers. And ironically it's from the recent recirculation on social media of a case report that first appeared in the New England Journal of Medicine about a year ago in March 2021. Note that eating leftovers from a year ago is in general a bad, bad idea. For the case report, several Massachusetts General Hospital, MGH, doctors, Pavan K. Bandapudi, M. D. Michael J. Whalen, M. D. Manuela Lahudrame, M. D. and Julian A. B. Alba, M. D detailed what happened to a 19-year-old man after he had eaten rice, chicken, and low mine leftovers from A. About 20 hours after this feast, he began developing abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. Worsening chills, muscle aches, shortness of breath, headaches, neck stiffness, blurry vision, and weakness followed. He began developing purplish patches on his face, chest, abdomen, arms, and legs, which is not a typical effect of low mine noodles. Thus, his friend brought him to the emergency room of a hospital. Of note, his friend had eaten from the same noodle stash, had vomited, but didn't get ill in the same way. At the hospital, the teen's shortness of breath grew worse and worse and his blood pressure dropped. As a result, he required oxygen, was given a bunch of medications, and was soon placed on a ventilator. Since this first hospital may not have had all the means to take care of him, doctors put him on a helicopter to be transferred to the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit PICU, of at Massachusetts General Hospital. There he was treated for shock and multiple organ failure. Blood and urine tests revealed that he was infected with a bad, bad bacteria, Neisseria meningitidis. This bacteria had made its way to his bloodstream, where it was causing all kinds of problems including purpura fulminans. If someone tells you that you have purpura fulminans, your response should not be cool. Having purple rain is one thing. Having purpurofulminans is another and a life-threatening emergency. Purpurofulminans can develop 7 to 10 days after a bacterial infection in your blood when many blood clots form throughout your body. These blood clots can block circulation to different areas of your skin, resulting in purplish areas of skin death that grow in size, forming lesions called purpura. These clots can also block blood circulation to your arms, legs, feet, toes, and fingers, starving them of oxygen and leading to death of their tissue.